okay, all right, that's fine, okay, okay. I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests, and I'm way too sexy to go and protect you, and she popped a Tesla, now she gonna let you. Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a step-by-step -step men's gel manicure. So just to make it easy, I'm starting off with his crusty, dusty nails. This is my husband. This is Mike. You guys have seen him on the channel plenty of times. He's in almost all of the videos. But while he is soaking off his gel polish, I did place another Amazon order. So... Um, we'll be doing a quick unboxing. These are my birthday nails. Um, if you want to see a tutorial on these nails, leave a blue heart below. And then I'll kind of go ahead and see what I can do. Because I did not film those. Anyway, getting back into this. So this bit um, is what I've been seeing on like TikTok and um, Instagram and stuff. And it's supposed to be for a cuticle um, cleanup. So I'm excited to try that. Um, and then I just got another extra cord safety bit. Nothing too fancy. It's the same bit that I already used. I just needed another one. Um, and I'm just going to open that up for you guys as well. Just a regular old extra cord safety bit. Um, and like I said, it is just to replace my old one. So this one I'll be using for acrylic and gel and all that good stuff. And um, I'll just be using my old one for gel polish since it's broken and very worn. And last but not least, this is a medium ceramic tapered bit. Um, this is what I like to use for finished filing, for sealing cuticles, and finishing um, off the acrylic. So... Those are all of my things, and I didn't show you, but it does say extra course on top of the bed. So, that was my little mini haul. I'm going in with this medium bit, and I'm just buffing off the gel polish off of his nail, and only the gel polish. It is a medium bit, so it's fine. Um, and I do have this on at about, probably, normally when I'm taking off gel polish, I normally have it on at about five or 6,000 RPMs. So whatever you're comfortable with, um, I would just have you, I would suggest that you do either five or 6,000 RPMs. So you can actually buff the shine off of the gel polish. Um, and then either wrap the nail up in a cotton swap and foil um, or just regular foils. Some of them come with the cotton already inside um, on the piece of foil or you can soak it off um, in these little bowls which is what I'm using now. Again everything is linked down below um, but basically starting everything off you want to make sure that you look at their nails um, and see if anything you don't have any concerns, any like cuts or anything like that. Um, you do want to buff off the top shine of the gel polish and then soak it in acetone. You can file it off um, if you choose to, but I try to preserve the natural nail as much as possible and just soak them. You can also use a sanding band if that is your preference, either 240 which is fine or 180 which is a medium bit.
If anything's got a knife, but none of them is the thought of it. New piece around my neck is chess games. Too shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Swear I'm more purple ring prince than Prince Charming. Disappointment, I stay. So if you notice, I turned his hand because it felt as though he was kind of fighting me and it wasn't easily accessible to his thumb. So you just want to let your client know, hey, just turn your hand a little bit and it will put less strain on you and the client. And I did leave this in real time. That way you can see exactly how long it takes um, for everything to come off. <clears throat> Overall, it did take me about an 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I want to say it took me an hour in raw footage and then this is about 35 minutes minus all of the little in-between stuff so they say a gel manicure should take about 30 minutes the long part for us is one we are watching tv normally i can do a gel manicure in about 30 to 45 minutes um sometimes it takes an hour if we're doing design since uh, my clients tend to like a little bit more um designs and stuff um but for men normally it's 30 minutes they normally don't do any designs so I am gently scraping off any gel polish and like I said gently you do want it to come off but you don't want to dig into the natural nail and you'll see me going from the opposite way as you see it's not coming off so he's going to go back into the acetone to soak everything off Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas sweat it. So I'm just repeating that process, soaking the nails in acetone and then scraping off whatever comes off. Or you can use a medium or fine bit, and that will also take your gel polish off um, as you're soaking and if you choose not to soak um, at, at all. So in the meantime, while your client is soaking, you want to get your tools together. Um, I already put my sanding band on the mandrel. Um, and I'm just making sure I get everything together for my client, whether that's, you know, a um, like a nail file or if we already have the cuticle pusher because that's what we're using to scrape it off. Um, but you basically just want to repeat this process until all of the gel is off of the natural nail.
so now that most of the gel is removed off of the nail plate i'm just gonna go in and use a cuticle pusher and push back his cuticles um he is getting another gel manicure so we want to make sure we're getting all of the dead cuticle and dead skin off of the nail plate and getting ready for our prep So now I'm trying the new bit um, from, I believe it's Zenshare. I'm not sure of the brand, um, but it is a Tuscan bit. So I am just going ahead and using that to lift up any of the dead cuticle off of the nail plate. So as I'm using this bit, my first impressions, I do like it. Um, I feel like it's better for people who have more stuck cuticle. Um, it still worked well for him, but I feel like it would work better to exfoliate the top of the cuticle to help get rid of some of the extra dead skin. Um, versus my carbide bit that is, um, that is more, I guess, it's etched all over versus the top of this bit is not etched at all i mean it has like the little circle rings like from they have the engraving but it's not meant to take off the dead cuticle it's more of a a, a more gentle softer bit So now I'm going in with a fine sanding band and this is a 240 grit zebra, zebra band. Oh y'all I'm tongue tied. And I'm just going in. I had this at about 3000 to 4000 RPMs. Um, and I normally do my cuticle work at about 5000. Um, so right now I am just going over any of that dead cuticle that is on the nail or the dead ep eponychium. Um, and just buffing the top of the nail so we are getting rid of any little bit of gel that is left This is very soft so it's okay um, if you're you know blending in or getting rid of any product and you just want to buff the top of the nail you're literally only taking off the shine so as soon as it touches it and there's no more shine you are good to go
So next you want to go in and just make sure that everything is nice and smooth around the edge of the nail. I did not realize that his hyponychium at the bottom of his nail or the skin that is attaching the uh, nail plate to your nail bed. I did not realize he cut it so low that it was right there. There was a little bit more free edge what it looked like and I didn't realize it was so close so he said that he felt like it was a little bit rough and so I made sure that I'm being a lot more gentle on the rest of the nails he tends to cut his nails all the way down in at angles and I hate the way that they look so I try to make sure that they are blended and at least rounded so that's what you'll see me do here next I'm just going in with some young nail swipe um, it's basically just alcohol and acetone that way it is cleaning off the nail plate and we're getting rid of all of the dust that way we can go in with our dehydrator it basically as a <clears throat> excuse me it basically acts as dehydrator in a cleanser in one so if you're ever in the market for something like that, I definitely recommend the spike or you can always do your own and do like a little DIY version. Next, I'm just going in and removing any dead cuticle. I'm just using a pair of um, cuticle nippers. And you want to be very gentle when doing this process and go slow, take your time. Don't be afraid if you have to go back over it again to get any little attaching pieces that you do that, then that way it's nice and clean.
recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh, and I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance. Ooh, everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you. So after you are done cutting your cuticles, your nails should already be prepped. I'm just going in with Slim Young Nails Protein Bond. You can use whatever primer you have in stock, on hand, whatever you prefer. Um, I'm just using this one. Next, I'm just going in with some base gel. Now that everything is nice and prepped and primed, I am just going in with the um, base gel from Beatles, I believe is the brand.
So I'm, just <clears throat> so I'm just repeating that same process on the other side and, and while that I am doing that I'm letting the other hand cure. So now I'm just going in with some Beatles top coat and then I will be carrying both hands. So he actually had a little fuzzy stuff underneath his polish so I tried to use the nippers to get it off and <clears throat> I got part of it but I wasn't able to get all of it so unfortunately he has a little fuzzy in there. Um, normally all my clients they're good they don't go around touching things. Mike was a bad boy and that's why I am wiping the surface of this nail too. He was going around touching things and has fuzzies. So, um, normally I just have my clients leave their hands out on the table, uh, especially while we are polishing and during prep. After the acrylic or until the nails are on, you can't touch anything. So, unfortunately, he had one little fuzzy that got stuck in there, um, and I wiped the ones that were on this nail. I got those off, but every now and then it does happen, so don't feel bad. Even as professionals, it happens to the best of us. Well, I see, I can 
Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on deposit. Elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone, what numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017, all good, each other look around, find one to see my type, damn my dog and he know what I like, he done found me plenty in my life, problem is I meet a girl tonight, then I go and treat her too nice, gallery of credit card swipes, I don't even know if she a wife, but I do know one thing though, women they come they go, Saturday through Sunday, Monday, Monday through Sunday, yo, baby I love you one So now that baby, both hands are out of the light, go. I'm sorry, now that one of the hands is out while the other one is curing, I'm giving him a hand massage. And this is what I do to all of my clients. So this way you are able to see how I massage their hands after each um after each nail set. So now that his other hand is out, I am just putting on some more lotion and getting ready to rub him down again. He says this is his favorite part, so I try to make sure that it's extra special and nice and soft and rubbing and full of love. And yeah, he says this is his favorite part, so I try to make it a little bit more special. Um, right now you couldn't see, but I did flip his hand up to massage the inside of his palm. And you want to make sure you get in between all of the finger rubbing and make sure you're going down each finger. Had a little bit too much lotion, so I'll rub some on the other hand. And that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any other suggestions or videos you'd like to see, let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. But I do know one thing, yo, women, they come, they...